I gotta go warm my car up because I'm just cannot get into a freezing cold car. It does not make me feel good at all. So I'm gonna warm it up, turn on all the heaters for about three minutes. Turn the seat warmers on because, baby. It's a new week, it's week three. Yesterday I took my first complete rest day off of the gym. Meaning I did not hit my ring goals at all. So there's that. I also had a really nice good cheat meal last week. But this week the goal is to finish all my meal plans, no eating out at all. And go to the gym. Apologies for the wait, sometimes it's hard to make the distractions up off you. For enough time to jot your thoughts, but fuck it, this morning I got to. I'm thinking about you. I heard you just had you another little baby. Congratulations. I hope you got through it with no complications. I find it amazing the way that you carry your kids, the biz, the fame, the bitches that's hating. They sit around waiting for you to fall off like the album I'm making. But I hope that you take in a little time for yourself. Still in a moment or two to unwind between the hectic sounds of your precious baby crying. Do you clear your mind? A lot going on. I hear it in all of your songs. Niggas been doing you wrong. Family been doing you wrong. What days you feeling like you on your own? I wrote this for you to put on. Thank you for sharing your light, your voice, and writing a beautiful poem. Session 32, bring me to tears. Be getting choked up when I hear it. Seems like I keep crying off so much since a nigga had these kids. And I don't know what it is that made me so sensitive. More than I already was. But never mind that, I'm back. I'm sending you this little audio hug. And hopes that you smile for getting the stress that piles from all the above The more that we hurt, the harder we love As soon as it's gone, we gotta re-up It's just like a drug If people knew half of the pressure, they know that it's hard to be her I'm sending you scissors and Ari, my love Y'all holding us down, y'all holding the crowns You ever need something from me, no hesitate, please Just hit me and I'll be around, I'm gone.
cramp in my leg. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it went away. It was like in my hip a little bit. Anywho, you guys, it is Tuesday, January 16th, and I'm leaving the gym. That session was just chef's freaking kiss. It was so good and so juicy and so intense. It was leg day, of course. Um, what did I do? I did squats. Well, first of all, I didn't show you guys, but I did warm up on the treadmill. I did 30 minutes on an incline walk. And then I also did my leg day, which was squats supersetted with RDLs. I did four sets of... I just did as much as I could, I believe. Yeah, because once I put like 25 on both sides... Uh, it was that was like pushing it, but this week I am increasing my weight. So, for the first two weeks of January, I was just like you know trying to ease into it. I was only doing like 10 15 pounds, I probably threw another 10 on there, maybe once or twice. But this week, <clears throat> I'm being very intentional with the way that I train, the intensity, and progressive overloading because. Like I said, I'm taking it nice, nice, nice and slow this time because I want to make sure that I don't just completely lose all my juiciness back there. I want to keep some of it, most of it. Like I really want to have that, like I want to look like I work out. I want to have muscle and yeah, I wanted to give like, oh, she's strong. That's a strong girl right there. That's what I want to give. But anyway, that was a very, 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 very good session. And it's freaking cold outside. And I seen this guy running with no shirt on. And I was like, you know, I'm proud of you, but put some clothes on. You'll get sick. And I should be the last one talking because I have shorts on right now. But I do have my blanket on. What else? Would I oh, y'all, my whole workout, I literally listened to Spanish music because I'm going to get back on my Spanish tip of learning Spanish. And so far, it's going very well. But all day yesterday... I was listening to Spanish movies and stuff like that and songs and now every time I close my eyes it's just like I'm just hearing these random Spanish words <laughs> and it's just like okay should I chill a little bit or is that how it's supposed to go but yeah um hopefully I'm bilingual by the summer but today I really need to get my laundry done because it's just been sitting there looking at me and I've been looking at it and it's just not giving but I'm starving. Like, I am hungry. I worked up a, a good appetite. So I'm about to eat. Hopefully, I meet my protein goal today. And guess what? On to my second liter of water. So cheers to that. Mm-hmm. Yep. She's great. But I'm going to get back to my vibes in my car. Because I don't want to get copyrighted. I wish we could just vibe out together. But YouTube doesn't want that for us so we can't whatever it's fine I also had some ginger this morning well not ginger but some ginger tea all you do is rinse your ginger off I break mine in half put it in the tea kettle and boil it and then just drink the broth don't add no lemon don't add no sugar don't add nothing just drink the broth we don't got time to be getting sick and especially if you're a woman, <clears throat> ginger is really, mm, ginger is one of them foods that help with inflammation. So, tip of the day. For my post-workout breakfast, I'm having some protein pancakes. I feel like I have shared the recipe for these a thousand times, but I will put the macros and the ingredients on screen just in case you want to try them they are very very high in protein and regardless if you're trying to lose or gain weight protein definitely helps a lot of people feel like they're in like a losing phase so they don't need that much protein but Protein is what's going to keep you satiated and feeling like really full to where you don't have to go and snack a lot. And then this makes a lot of pancakes. That's what I love about this recipe. 
you don't feel like you're just eating a tiny bit of food because your girl likes to eat okay I'm not one of them people who um, don't like food I love food so I made about five pancakes for me I set my timer for 45 minutes to get my work done and I literally finished every single assignment <laughs> these assignments are not due until Sunday let's just put that out there not only that I still have two minutes left but like I was saying these assignments are not due until Sunday but since I finished them now I have today is Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday to work on content to work on my business and just everything else and this is how you do it i'm telling y'all if you set a timer and even when i went up to go cook my chicken and to cook my meal prep i literally paused my timer because that doesn't count you have to actively be sitting there working on whatever it is that you're supposed to be working on and that is exactly what i did so now i got lunch done Wow. Ow. But yes, I got lunch done. I got my assignments done. I'm about to go walk Sky. It's actually 10.55, so it's about to be 11 o'clock. And <clears throat> I want to walk her for at least like 30 minutes to an hour. Come back. I really need to wash dishes. But I'm going to go into work a little bit earlier. So we're going to see because I still got a shower. Get ready. Oh, and I also did my laundry. Them chicken wings is done. I haven't tried them or anything. I'm going to let them cool off. Take me out some for lunch and then put the rest away because my mom can have something for lunch tomorrow. My mom is joining me on my um, health journey because she wants to lose weight also. So I've been cooking like double. Laundry done. I need to get some double sided tape to put this up on my wall. I changed it from going behind my door to above my bed because I just feel like it's more of a vibe. But I definitely need to put that away. Oh, I have one more thing I need to do on my computer before I walk Sky. But, bow, 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 bow. Oh, y'all can't even see. All right, got the schoolwork done. I already did my Spanish practice this morning. And then let's just walk Sky and get these two other things out the way because I'm looking like I should have been in the movie The Color Purple. I need to do something with myself. All right, you guys, today is Wednesday. I already went to my workout, but I didn't record it because I wasn't feeling well. And I also had a partner, so I didn't want to record, like, put them on camera and on the spot. But <clears throat> I'm getting ready for work at the moment. I'm making me some breakfast, uh, not breakfast, lunch. My phone keeps trying to connect to my AirPods. Haven't finished my first one. Mm. But like I was saying, for breakfast, I have <clears throat> some protein pancakes that were so good and very high in protein right now i'm making me a sandwich i got some lettuce tomato and bacon and then i'm gonna put it in some foil wrap it up i don't know where this like 
stuffiness and stuff came from. So random, but I'm definitely going to wear my mask. We got some sourdough toast. Instead of getting two sourdough toasts, I just broke it in half. Because as you can see, she is hefty. We got some mayo. It's not like y'all don't know how to make a sandwich, but this is how I make my sandwich. Mustard. A little bit of mustard. And some relish. Oh, this is caramel. A little bit of relish. Just a bit. No cheese because we are putting sausage on there. I'm going to put my cucumbers on first so they can like stick to the sauce. And then I'm going to squeeze half of this guac on the other toast. I'm going to show you guys. Hold on. So we got our guac right here. I actually kind of like like this little setup. I wish I had something to go right there to show y'all everything. But I'm just smashing my guac. It's actually kind of going bad, so that's why I'm going to hurry up and use it. A little bit of pepper. Some salt. And then this sausage. Just like that. And then we're going to fold it and smash it. Smash it down. Got to smash it. Try to do this with one hand, don't judge me. That one's not gonna work. By the way, this is my protein powder. And just in case I get hungry at work, I'll just have my protein shake. I'm gonna turn this. Wrap this up real nice real good there's that let me fill my water back up read somewhere that if you drink extremely cold water it helps to speed up your metabolism I forgot why but I read that so just a little tip all right I'm gonna get ready for work now finish getting ready for work and I'll either see you at dinner or tomorrow we'll see <laughs> I am on week three, four, three, I believe. This is week four vlog. I don't know, but moral of the story is that I did not feel like going to the gym and then I procrastinated for three hours, but I'm on my way to the gym. I'm definitely not lifting any weights today. I'm going to probably just walk and read my book or something because I'm still cramping. And I took three extra strength Tylenols, which are 500 milligrams each. And voila, nothing has changed. I stopped and got me a Subway sandwich because I was craving it. I can't wait to eat this. I just know it's gonna be so good. <laughs> yeah. Look at him just cross. Richard! Richard! 